Uh, my name is Marina Femi. I'm the program chair for the Masters in Aviation Leadership. Um, I have been working at DCU for, uh, since 2016. I have worked in other universities before that, uh, also uh, for an international organization. Um, I'm, uh, I have worked in the industry and also in academia. I have a PhD in environmental policy, an element that is also covered in the course. Uh, you can see my email on the top right, marina.ftmio at dcu.ie. Uh, the reason I'm sharing a bit my profile is to give you an example of the profile of the people teaching in the course. We take pride uh, having people in the course uh, as lecturers and instructors who are both professionally qualified but also academically qualified. So all of them, they will have at least a master's and a PhD and they will have uh, walk the walk and talk the talk and share the insights uh, from the industry with you. So uh, I know that some of you or most of you are outside of Dublin or outside of Ireland and uh, you might not be that familiar with Dublin City University. Uh, Ireland first of all as a known Irish person you might have figured that out from the strange, strange accent. Ireland is a very nice place to live, very welcoming, very international. Uh, if you can tolerate a bit of rain and you can enjoy the hikes and the green, uh, you will have fantastic time here. Uh, DCU has a great reputation. It's recognized uh, globally as a university of enterprise. We have very strong industry relationship. We're only 10 minutes away from uh, Dublin Airport. We have signed a memorandum of understanding with Dublin Airport and we collaborate on a number of things. Uh, we have uh, strong relationships with all the airlines, like Ryanair, the biggest airline in Europe, uh, Aer Lingus, Emerald, uh, SAS, uh, among others. Uh, we create a unique learning environment that will come down to that when I explain a little bit in more detail the course. We have a very high quality of teaching, uh, small class sizes, a high level of industry engagement uh, that they stand out. And again, I will come back to that. And we are recognized by AACSB which place us in the top 5% of the business schools in the world. Uh, the graduates are highly sought after in the job market and we do support students with employment. Here you might recognize some of the faces of some of the logos. Um, we had Michael O'Leary, who is the CEO of Ryanair, uh, who came and uh, talked to our students. We had Willie Holtz, who is the Director General of International Air Transport Association. Uh, Donald Slattery, who is um, a major uh, leasing uh, um, figure. He was the CEO of uh, Avalon. We have all the major airports in Ireland and outside of Ireland uh, coming to give guest lecture. Only last week we had uh, Tampa Airport, uh, the senior VP. This Friday we have uh, Dublin Airport coming with a guest lecture and um, the director of sustainability from Ryanair, among others, and uh, Nats, uh, the British um, ANSP. So we are very happy to have a significant support from the industry. And the way we see the industry supporting our curriculum is by bringing guest speakers, informing the modules that we are delivering and building those better connections and uh, creating opportunities of networking for our students. Sinead, if you can go to the next slide. Okay, so as I said, uh, the course was created in 2015 after we have been approached by the industry and we continue developing it. Um, we recognize uh, uh, the professional qualifications. So if you hold a, a, a commercial pilot license or an air traffic control officer license and you have some years of work experience, but not an undergraduate degree, you can be given an entry to the course. Uh, also, if you don't have um, some of, uh, significant years of work, if you don't have a primary degree, but you do have significant years of working experience, again, we recognize that experiential learning. In 2021, we were recognized as 28th uh, worldwide in the category of leadership. And uh, we kept developing the course and created an exit degree from the course. You can follow news about the course and the offerings from DCU in Aviation by following hashtag DCU Aviation. Uh, Sinead, if you can go to the next slide. Okay, so looking at the modules. Um, the first, if you're doing the course in a part-time version, uh, you will do in year one the first four modules, which are digitalization of aviation operations and business analytics. 
aviation policy and regulation, leadership for aviation managers, and sustainable aviation and green innovation. In year two of the part-time version of the course, you will do airport operations management, airline management, strategy organization and innovation, leadership and change, and research methods and a dissertation or a practicum. A practicum is a group project um, for an applied uh, problem uh, set by the industry. So you will work with a company. So when you complete all of those modules, plus the dissertation or the practicum, you can exit with a master's in aviation leadership. If you're doing the course, if you're an international student and you're doing the course full time, you will do all of those modules within one year. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so in terms of the delivery, uh, we have set the timetable to suit working professionals. So if you're an international student who is looking to take part time employment, you can complete the course with no issues. Uh, we blend uh, online teaching with uh, on-campus attendance. Some of the modules, they will have some online elements. And then also we use significantly a uh, loop, which is a platform where we upload all the, any recordings from the classes, um, handouts, case studies, and slides, and any kind of reading material and activities. Uh, the modules are delivered uh, within uh, one, two, three, two, three days um, in a block release uh, format, meaning that uh, Thursday and Friday morning, 8.30 until 4.30 in the evening. So quite condensed, uh, very intense days to allow you to have time for doing the assessments and also doing any part-time or full-time job, some of you. The assessment for each module is based on 100% continuous assessment, which is either individual work or group work and the pass mark for each module is 40%. So we use any kind of available technology, modern technology to enhance and enrich the, the learning experience of the students. We do expect the students to participate actively in the discussion and uh, ask questions, um, raise any points uh, and contribute to the class discussion. We do bring a lot of industry guest speakers and we also use extensively case studies to apply the theory. So the elements of um, applied and theory are of equal importance for this course. And also we do expect you to uh, study, but again, I'm gonna highlight that there is significant uh, support from the faculty and the different functions of the university. Next slide, please. Uh, here we have the general entry requirements. Uh, so you need to have a two and honors degree in a relevant discipline or an equivalent international qualification along with three years of work experience in the aviation industry. Uh, again, aviation is quite uh, multidimensional. So if you have worked in similar uh, industries that can also qualify, we have students who have been in banking for a number of years, but they were very passionate about aviation and they wanted to move their career towards aviation and they did extremely well in the course and they gained a very good position after that uh, in the industry. Applicants who have achieved the two two honors degree may still obtain a position. So it will depend again on availability of places and you might also be invited uh, to an interview. Uh, as I said, if you do have a professional qualification like an air traffic control officer license or a commercial pilot license, along with three years of work experience in the aviation, uh, you are also entitled to get a seat at the course. Applicants with more than five years uh, relevant work experience in the industry will also be considered. And again, recent graduates with less than three years of work experience and placements also count as work experience. Um, who have uh, gotten a first class honors degree, they will also be considered. If you have any doubts about your eligibility, you can send me an email and I will be able to advise. And again, you need to comply with um, the language um, requirements set by DCU. Next slide, please. Then there are a number of scholarships available um, for this course, dedicated for this course, but also beyond that course. So if you're great at sports, there are a number of sports scholarships. And then there is also the 30% club, which is specific for females, trying to increase the female representation in the industry. We have a significant project uh, very recently 
from all the partners of Irish Aviation where we looked at how to increase the female representation in the course and uh, in major uh, companies uh, obtaining senior positions. So the 30% club is a great opportunity for those young women, uh, women in general and females who want to do the course. We have uh, a scholarship dedicated for aviation from the Irish Aviation Authority, the Geoffrey O'Byrne White Memorial Scholarship. We are still accepting applications for that. And also we have the ISTAT Aviation Scholarship. The deadline has passed, but maybe uh, next year, uh, which is a scholarship from the leading, uh, leasing industry in Ireland for our students. Next slide, please. So here we have a number of testimonials uh, from our students. Um, we are very happy uh, with the students that we have. Uh, we are, attract students from a wide spectrum of the industry uh, and also various se seniority levels. Uh, all of them, they have been doing extremely well after graduation. They have built connections. Uh, they have made friendships, uh, they have connected with us and our guest speakers, they have definitely enriched their knowledge in the industry and progressed professionally after that, or helped them make the transition from a different discipline towards air transport. And we also have seen some of them that they have been in air transport and they have jumped to outside of air transport because again, the course helps you to gain competencies that are of general importance, like strategy, management, uh, HR, uh, and so on. Next slide, please, Ined. So you can see the social media channels of um, the school. Uh, I highly encourage you to follow hashtag DCU Aviation. Uh, so you can get more filtered updates uh, about DCU and air transport. So now I'm going to continue with um, uh, diving into the graduate certificate in aviation sustainability, leadership and innovation. So if you can go to the next slide, Sinead, please. Next one. Okay, so similarly in the graduate certificate, the students, uh, they benefit from the guest speakers. Um, from Eurocontrol, IATA, Airport Council International that were a member of Aviation Skillnet, uh, Dublin Airport, Shannon Airport, CityJet uh, had when it was uh, uh, had given a number of uh, guest speakers, uh, the Irish Aviation Authority, Air Traffic Control. We have guest speakers from all the spectrum of air transport, uh, and that are going beyond Ireland. Uh, next slide, please. So the way the graduate certificate works is that you can either do each module independently in the format of micro-credential, and I'm going to explain each module separately, or you can do the four modules and graduate with uh, a graduate certificate, or you can, after you do the graduate certificate, you can top up to a master's and get a master's degree. The graduate certificate is supported by Aviation Skillnet, which means that if you work for an Irish private company, which is a member of Skillnet, you can benefit of a 30% discount uh, from Aviation Skillnet in your face. Next slide, please. Okay, so now we have more details about the four modules, the micro-credentials. So the one micro-credential is the leadership for aviation managers. So, so in that module, you will learn the leadership competencies that are required in order to lead an organization. So it will help you to build the capacity to think strategically and better understand any organizational and leadership issues. And that module is delivered by three different lecturers. One is focusing on communication. Another one is focusing on uh, change management, and another one is leading strategically. The second module is on aviation policy and regulation. So this module is looking to empower uh, the managers in having very well informed uh, decision making and understanding how the different policies and regulations can affect an organization in terms of its operational and commercial functions. The third module is digitalization and business analytics. 
So in this module, we look at uh, how digitalization can affect airlines, airports, and air traffic control. Um, and also it helps you build the relevant skills in order and tools in order to manage and uh, manipulate data. And uh, then you gain a basic uh, data management literacy. Okay. Uh, the fourth module is sustainable aviation and green innovation. So in this module, we again build your environmental literacy. Uh, we provide a framework for uh, making those strategic decisions on how to make the industry more sustainable. We explain the different policies and regulations and uh, how air transport can find the most efficient and effective way to be decarbonized. Next slide, please. Uh, the delivery is similar uh, to the master's. Uh, we deliver each module within one month where you will have two full days of teaching on campus at DCU and three two hour online uh, sessions via delivered via Zoom. Uh, similarly to the master's, uh, we do believe a lot in uh, the active participation of the students. We use different tools also for the online environment with surveys, and polls and uh, different interactive tools. Uh, we have a number of guest speakers who are delivering lectures uh, for each module separately. And we also use a lot of case studies. Next slide, please. <coughs> uh, similarly to the master's, the entry requirements are um, a two one uh, honors degree in a relevant discipline, plus three years of work experience. A 2-2 honors degree, uh, again, with uh, working experience. And there we're going to be looking at uh, your marks in certain modules. Uh, if you hold a professional qualification like an air traffic control officer license or a commercial pilot license, along with three years of work experience, you're also going to be given a position to the course. And you also might be entitled for a 10% discount if you register for the IALPA, the IRIS. Uh, pilot Association or the British Pilot Association. Applicants with more than five years of relevant work experience without a, a university degree will also be considered. And recent graduates uh, with less than three years work experience, uh, but the first class honors degree and good marks, they will also be considered. Next slide, please. Uh, here you can see how you can connect with us. Uh, I will remain in the chat uh, in case you have any questions or uh, if you want to discuss an application uh, that you have with us.